A small E. coli cell takes only around 20 minutes to duplicate itself. Amazing, isn't it? Ever wondered how does a single-celled bacterium like this one adds up new individuals to its population? The reason behind this is truly incredible. And you've heard about it in your lower grades as well. Any guesses what could it be? This is all because of the process called mitosis. By this process of cell division, lower organisms like prokaryotes and a few unicellular eukaryotes produce new individuals of their kind. This is also called asexual reproduction. So mitosis helps in carrying out asexual reproduction in lower organisms. And does it have any significance in the higher organisms like us as well? Absolutely! How does our skin manage to heal the wounds on its own? And that too with the exact same new skin cells? Is it possible due to mitosis? That's right. Mitosis process gives rise to the new cells which are identical to the parent cells. So if there occurs an injury to any tissue of the body, then the damaged cells of that area are replaced by new ones which are produced with the help of mitosis. And not only repair, but the process of mitosis helps in the overall growth and the development of the organism. And how does that happen? It's obvious that due to mitosis, cells make identical copies of themselves, giving rise to growth of tissues and finally the organs. So the increase in size and complexity of higher organisms is possible due to the process of mitosis. So, let's have a look at this marvelous process in detail. Mitosis is simply a process of cell division which produces two new identical daughter cells with the same amount of genetic material. So are these two daughter cells exactly similar to each other? Yes, they are genetically similar to each other. And this is the reason why mitosis is also called equational division. It's extremely important to maintain the amount of genetic material in any cell because uneven number of chromosomes in a cell can lead to abnormalities like cancer. Now before moving ahead with the concept of mitosis, let's get through with a few important terms first. We've something called the DNA, chromatin and chromosomes. So let's find out what exactly these concepts are. We've seen these tangled thread-like structures in the nucleus. Any idea what they are? Well, these are called chromatin. If we zoom in further, we find these thread-like structures appear to have this bead-on-string arrangement. These beads are nothing but octamers made up of histone proteins. And what about this string? Well, that's our DNA molecule. Yes, this string-like structure wrapped around the histone octamer is DNA. And why is this wrapped in this fashion? That's because it helps in increasing the compactness of the complete structure. The wrapping reduces the volume occupied by the long stretch of the DNA, keeping its length intact. So it's the DNA which, along with the proteins, forms the chromatin structure. And what is this chromosome now? In any metabolically active cell, the genetic material is always present in the form of these tangled threads, that is the chromatin. But during cell division, these threads condense to form a structure which appears somewhat like this. And this is nothing but the chromosome structure. So is chromatin and chromosome the same? Technically, yes. The only difference is that the chromatin structure is generally found in a metabolically active cell in the form of tangled threads, while the same threads condense to form the classical, higher order structure of chromosomes. So we can say that the DNA with histone proteins make up the chromatin, while the same chromatin condenses to form chromosomes. There is one more term that we need to know of. It's called the chromatid. Now what could that be? This is a single chromosome. Now can you tell me whether this is also one chromosome or half? It's also a complete chromosome. In both these structures, these arm-like structures which are attached to the central bulge are called chromatids. In simple words, 
The thread-like strands which are attached to this centromere are called chromatids. Now in this chromosome, there's only a single chromatid, while this one has two sister chromatids attached at this common point. Two sister chromatids symbolize the duplicated DNA. That means the DNA which is duplicated for cell division is attached to its paternal copy before the actual division. This was about the DNA, chromatin, chromosomes and the chromatids in general. Now let's get back to the process of mitosis and have a detailed look at this amazing process in the next video.